Hi, this is Rebecca Kokendurfer with homeschool.com with your homeschooling tip of the month for May. Our advice for May is to avoid the school at home approach to your homeschooling. The school at home approach has the highest burnout rate of any of the homeschooling methods. If you've been homeschooling for a while, you might be aware now of the different homeschooling styles. Some people do Montessori at home, or Catholic schooling at home, or Waldorf, and, and all of these varieties work so well. But the one that doesn't work so well is the very, very rigid school at home approach. Now you want to be as flexible as you can, give yourself the structure that you need to feel comfortable, but if you uh, have to be on page 52 by the second week, it'll really stress you out. For example, I'm, I live in California, and one day we had a minor earthquake. And so that would have been the perfect opportunity for our family to study about earthquakes. And the kids would have really remembered everything that we had been studying because it would have been relevant to them, right? I could have spent the whole day about volcanoes, the Pacific Rim of Fire, earthquakes, the plates, all that great stuff. And we would have had a great time, and it would have been memorable. But instead, at that time in my homeschooling journey, I was stuck in the school-at-home approach. So instead, I did page 32 of the science book, and looking back on it, nobody remembers what it was. So tip of the month for May. Your two-minute tip is to avoid a rigid school-at-home approach to your homeschooling.